Jesus, we love you, we love you. We love you, we love you, we love you. Praise God, I want to welcome every last one of you on tonight to this live broadcast where Jesus Christ is still Lord. Come on, let's all put our hands together. Come on, saints. Come on, let's put our hands together and give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords our worship, our praise, our adoration. Come on and help me bless him tonight. Oh, help me bless him. Help me bless the name of the Lord. Come on and help me give him his praise tonight. He is worthy. Oh, he's worthy. Come on and help me give our God praise on tonight. Let everything that have breath, let everything that have breath give him praise. Hallelujah. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises, his praises, his praises, his praises. Come on, somebody. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify. Come on, somebody. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And those that dwell therein, the cattle on a thousand hills belong to him. God said the silver is mine. The gold is mine. Come on and help me give my God some praise. I'm in love with Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, he's a mighty God. Father, pour the Holy Ghost out on all of us on tonight. Pour a fresh anointing out on us, God. Let, the, let there be a fresh move of the Holy Ghost. Satisfy the longing that's in our hearts. Lord, you promise us in your word. Bless are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Fill us to overflowing with the Holy Ghost tonight, God. Pour your spirit out in a mighty way. Have your way, Jesus. Change lives tonight. Break shackles tonight. Break bondages tonight. Lift the weights, God, the worry, the frustration, the trials, the tribulations, the tests. Give your people victory. Give them a word tonight, especially in the area of finances. Your people have been battling a curse and a spirit of poverty. Bring them out tonight. Deliver your inheritance. Deliver your people. Deliverance comes from the word. Deliverance comes from the Lord Jesus. Lord, you said if the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed we give you praise tonight God in the name of Jesus bless your people he is a mighty God he is a mighty God he is a mighty God it reaches come on <clears throat> to the highest mountain and it flows and it flows to the lowest valley oh the blood come on the blood that gives me strength come on church from day to day it will never lose its power it reaches it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows, and it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, the blood, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose. It will never. It will never lose. It will never. It will never lose. 
It's power. It reaches. Come on, saints. It reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows. And it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, the blood. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never, it will never, it will never, it will never, it will never. You know what I want you to type in this? I want you to type in this live chat right now. It will never lose its power. It will never lose its power. Come on, type the blood will never lose its power. Come on, somebody type it in there real quick. The blood, the blood, the blood. It will never, it will never lose. I dare you to say the blood will never lose. My God, we are, we, we have the blood of Christ. We have been washed in the blood. It will never, it will never, type it in saints. It will never lose its power. It will never lose its power. Let the devil hear it tonight. Someone shout the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, shout it. Type it, sing it. Rejoice over it. It will never lose its power. It will never lose. It'll 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 never lose. Sing it with me, it will never. It will never. It'll never. It will never. It will never. It will never. Sing it with me tonight. It will never. It'll never. It will never. Type it again. It will never. It will never. It will never. I want the demons in hell to hear me tonight. It will never. Oh, there's power in the blood. There is power in the blood. There is power in the blood. Somebody shout the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Shaka nalabakasa. Rama nalabasa. It will never. It will never lose. I feel the Holy Ghost. It will never lose. It will never lose. It's power. It will never. It will never. It will never. It will never. We love you, Jesus. We love you tonight, God. We love you, Jesus. Oh, come on, open your mouth and help me praise him. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We give you praise. We thank you for the blood tonight, God. Father, we thank you for the blood of your son tonight. We thank you for the blood. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Oh, somebody help me give him praise. Somebody help me give him praise tonight. It will never lose. It will never lose. It's power. Oh, come on, saints. Come on and give it to him tonight. Come on and lift your voice. The Bible says, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. We are not defeated tonight. We are not the victims tonight. We are the victors. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loved us and gave himself for us. Come on, somebody. My God, I feel a stirring in the Holy Ghost. Era kasata, mandala, mandala, kasa. Oh, come on and help me bless him. Come on and help me bless him tonight. 
Come on and help me bless him. The Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. That means he lives in our praise. The minute you begin to praise him, the power and the presence of the Holy Ghost begins to be made manifest. Come on, somebody. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Oh, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. It will never. It will. Come on. Come on, sing it again. He will never. It will never. I feel the Holy Ghost. It will never. It will never lose. Sing it to him. It will never. It will never. It will never. Sing it. It will never lose its power. Oh, give him praise. Give him praise. Ha, ha. Glory, glory, glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Then sings my soul. Straight to it. My Savior God to thee. How great, how great thou art. Sing it to him. How great thou art. Sing it, my God. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great, how great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great, how great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. And when I think, and when I think that God his son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the old rugged cross, that on a cross my burdens gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sins. Come on, sing it, church. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great, how great, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great Thou art. Oh, come on, help me praise my God tonight. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. Oh, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. This is somebody's night. This night have been ordained for somebody tonight. Someone's life's about to be changed. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God you are tonight. Tis 
so sweet. Come on. To trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know the said the Lord. Sing it again. Tis, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know the said the Sing it with me again. Tis, tis so sweet. Sing it with me. To trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know the said. Come on and sing it with me. Jesus, 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 Jesus. How I trust you. How I prove you over and over. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust. Jesus, 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 how I trust you, how I proved you over and over. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust. Come on and sing, Jesus, 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 Jesus. How I trust you, how I proved you over and over. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. For grace. Come on, sing it. And I'm so glad I've learned. And I'm so glad I've learned to trust you. Precious Jesus, my Savior and my best friend. And I know that you are with me. You will be with me to the end. Come on, sing it. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you. How I prove you over and over. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust you, Lord. Come on and help me give my God praise. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. I dare you to just type and say, Jesus, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Jesus. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lay not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your steps. He certainly will direct it. Just say, Lord, I still trust you. Even when I don't understand, I still trust you, Jesus. 
even when my prayers don't answer as fast as I would like you to answer it, I still trust you, Jesus. Oh, I trust you. Come on and let him know you trust him tonight. We trust you, Jesus. We trust you, Jesus. Oh, we trust you, Lord. Katamana mandala bo shatara bande. Ramanala mandala bo koshaye. Oh, we trust you, we trust you. The Bible says, He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. Sing it with me. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Come on, sing it to him. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Come on, sing with me. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Sing it to him, church. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose to be Sing it with me church I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose to be Come on sing I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me Sing it with me tonight. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. <laughs> I just want you to type, I'm free indeed. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. Type it several times. No chains are holding me. Come on, sing it with me tonight. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me, it's who I choose to be. Sing it, church. I'm free indeed, in Christ I'm free indeed. No chains, no chains are holding me tonight. I choose, I choose to be free. I choose, I choose to be free. I choose. I choose to be free I choose to be free tonight I choose to be free I choose to be free I choose to be free tonight I choose to be free I choose to be free tonight I choose I choose to be free I choose, I choose to be free. I choose, I choose to be free. I choose. We are free in Jesus. We are free. We are free in Jesus tonight. Jesus is our liberty. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm free indeed. Come on, say. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Sing it with me tonight. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Sing it with me tonight. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose to be Sing it with me tonight I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose to be Sing it I'm free indeed I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed 
No chains are holding me. Come on, sing it with me tonight. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. Come on, sing it. I'm free indeed. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose. I choose. I choose to be free. I choose. I choose to be free tonight. I choose to be free tonight. I choose. I choose to be free tonight. I choose. I choose to be free. Yeah. I choose. I choose to be free. Yeah. I choose to be free. I choose to be free tonight. Oh, come on, somebody help me praise him. Come on and help me give him praise tonight. Help me give him glory. Help me give him honor tonight. He is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Oh, you're a mighty God. Choose to be free. I choose to be free. Come on, help me give my God some praise on tonight. Come on, help me bless him. Help me give him praise. Let everything that have breath praise him on tonight. Let everything that have breath give him praise. Give him praise tonight, church. Oh, he is a mighty, mighty, mighty God. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty, 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 mighty God on tonight. He's a mighty God. He's an awesome God on tonight. Awesome God, how great thou art. Awesome God, how great thou art. You are God, and mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Come on, sing it with me on tonight. Awesome God, how great, how great thou art. Because you are God and mighty are. Your miracles, we stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship you. Come on, sing it with me tonight. Awesome God, how great thou art. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. King of kings, Lord of lords, come on, sing it to him. King of kings, Lord of lords, everlasting king, savior, redeemer, soon coming king. King of kings, Lord of lords, everlasting king, savior, redeemer. Sing it with me tonight, king. King of kings, Lord of lords, everlasting king, savior, redeemer, soon coming king. King of kings, Lord of lords, everlasting king, savior, redeemer. He is awesome. Sing it. Awesome. 
He's awesome. My God is awesome. He's awesome. Awesome God. Awesome God. How great thou art. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Awesome God. Sing it to him. Awesome God. How great thou art. Come on, church. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe. Come on, church. Of your holy name. Mighty God. Lord, we bow and worship. Sing it to him another time. Awesome God. Awesome God. Isn't he awesome? How great thou art. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Cause you move mountains. <laughs> and you cause walls to fall with your power. Come on, church. Perform miracles. If there is nothing that's impossible. Sing it. And we're standing here. Only because you made a way, sing it. You made a way. <laughs> we love you tonight, Master. You made a way. We're standing and we're standing here. Only because you move mountains, you move mountains. Come on, church. And you cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles, there is nothing that's impossible. We're standing here only because you made a way, you made a way. Come on, church, you made a way. We're standing, and we're standing here. Only because you move mountains and you move mountains. Come on, church. I just dare you to lift your voice and say, You move mountains. Just type it, You move mountains. There is nothing, there's absolutely nothing that's impossible. Sing it. And we're standing here only because you move mountains, you move mountains. And you cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. We're standing here only because you made a way. You made a way. Oh, he's a mighty God. Keep playing that real soft. He is a mighty God. Listen, we are about to receive this evening's offering for the work of God, for the kingdom of God. I want to read a scripture to you. Take it down even more. I want to take you into the book of Philippians chapter 4. I've been reading this to you for the past several weeks. I endeavor as a servant of God to get the word of God down in your spirit. Amen. Because I want you to see how the Lord himself look at your offering. How he sees your giving. How he looks at your support for the kingdom of God. Listen to what the apostle Paul said here in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 18 to the Philippian 
church to that group of people that supported the work of God, supported the Apostles Paul ministry, Paul wanted, he wanted them to see that God had a different outlook on their giving, on their offering. These scriptures are precious to me and my wife. These are scriptures that change our lives. When we see the way God looked at our support, our financial support for his kingdom. Listen to what Paul said in verse 17 to this group of people. Not because I personally desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound in abundance to your account. You may not realize it, but you and I have an account with God. We have an account count our giving god takes it serious god is keeping account of me and your giving our love our support for his kingdom so we have an account before god listen to what paul said in verse 18 paul says but i have all and abound we are flourishing paul said i am full Having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, the apostle Paul said, you guys went over and above board for your love, your support of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. The apostle Paul says, I'm full, having received of Epaphroditus, one of his disciples, the things, the offerings which were sent from you. And Paul said, this is how God sees your giving. It is an odor of a sweet smell an odor of a sweet smell a sacrifice acceptable my god well pleasing to god you ought to give yourselves a hand tonight i said you ought to give you ought to just put your hands together and give god a praise for what he is saying about your giving to the work of God and to his shakarabasata hallelujah orabakasata hallelujah yeah mighty God mighty God hallelujah oh glory to God he loves you you ought to give yourself you ought to just give yourself a round of applause tonight give him praise for opening your eyes Hallelujah, Sakarababasa, Mandalobosa. Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. So listen to what he said. The Apostle Paul said, "You're giving. God sees it as an odor of a sweet smell. You've been. Some of you've been mailing in your donations." Some of you give through PayPal. Some of you give through the ministry website. Some of you give through Facebook. Some of you wired directly into the ministry. And the Holy Ghost through the Apostle Paul is saying your giving is an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable. This is the word. This, ain't, this is God's word. A sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. And the Apostle Paul said, because that's how your offering comes up before God. My God, but my God, but my God, but my God shall supply all your need. Oh, he shall supply. He shall supply. He'll make a way where there seems to be no way. He shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. That word supply means God's going to cram the blessings on you. I dare you to say, cram it on me, Jesus. Cram it on me. Cram I can use a good cram it. Cram it on me, Jesus. Hallelujah. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give or you can give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries you can also mail your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and your money orders out 
to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. You move mountains. You move mountains. And you cause walls to fall with your power. <laughs> Perform miracles. There is nothing. Come on. That's impossible. We're standing here only because you made a way. Sing it. You made a way. He's a mighty God. You made a Standing, standing. You move, you move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. Sing it. Standing here. You made a way, you made a way, oh yes he did, because you made a way, and I'm standing here, I'm standing here, only because you move mountains, you move mountains, and you cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles, there is nothing that's impossible. We're standing here only because you made, you made a way, you made a way. Because you made a way, and I'm standing here. You move mountains, you move mountains. Lord, we love you, Jesus. God, we put our trust in you. We put our trust in you tonight. We put our trust in you, God. Bless your people tonight. Bless the work of their hands. Bring increase into the lives of your people. Bring that supernatural increase increase cancel their debts God make a way where there seems to be no way open doors for your people grant them supernatural favor God cause this word tonight to come alive to your people let them experience what it means to be set free from the curse of poverty let them experience it to the fullest Jesus you said I've come that they can have life and have it more abundantly we believe you tonight we believe the word of God on tonight we believe your word tonight bless your people beyond measure open the windows of heaven over your people and pour them out a blessing that they will not have room enough to receive take the financial strain from off of their shoulders and bring their financial struggle bring it to a close in the name of Jesus now we are getting ready we are getting ready here to go we are getting ready here to go into the word but before we go into the word before we go before we go into the word I just got an announcement to make here we will be in we will be in Farmington New Mexico November the 1st on a Friday night for a night of healing and miracles at the Farmington Civic Center 
200 West Arrington Street in Farmington, New Mexico. So we are looking forward to have an awesome night of healing and miracles, preaching the gospel, lifting the name of Jesus high, worshiping God, enjoying his presence together, and experiencing his supernatural miracle working power. So everyone under the sound of my voice, we are going to be in Farmington, New Mexico, November 1st, that's of this year, 2019, for one night only. And doors will open at 6 p.m. If you need a miracle, if you need a touch from God, we invite you to meet us at the Farmington Civic Center, November the 1st. That's in a few months. That's this year. I believe God's going to move in a mighty way. I believe God's going to move in a powerful way. Now we're getting ready for the Word of God. <clears throat> From lack to abundance. We are getting ready for the Word of God from lack to abundance. Set free from the curse of poverty. I'm going into part two of that message that I started on Sunday night. Set free from the curse of poverty. I may have to continue again on Sunday there's a lot of grounds to cover here. This is a very important message that the Holy Ghost is trying to get into the spirits of his people. I believe God's up to something in your life. The Word of God is what changes us. The Word of God is what sets us free. The Word of God is where our deliverance is. The Word of God is our way out the way the word of God is our way out I want you to hear me good the word of God is our way out so father as we get ready to go into the word of God minister to us speak to us give revelation knowledge wisdom and understanding make it so simple that even the smallest child tuning into this broadcast would be able to understand what the Holy Ghost is saying to the church. Bless your people tonight. God manifest this word in their life from lack to abundance, set free from the curse of poverty. Minister to your people in in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say a good amen. Don't worry about it. We'll get it later. God's up to something. <laughs> I say God's up to something in your life. He's up to something. In, he's up to something in my life. God's up to something. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. So look, I want to take you into the word of God now. I want to take you into the word, Father. Oh, just let me pray again real fast. Father, open their eyes tonight. Minister this word to them. Minister it. Make it real to them. Make it real to them. Make it real to them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, we are continuing on what we started preaching on Sunday night. We started talking about set free from the curse of poverty. This message... This message is a part of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I know, I know this may be new to some people, but what I want to encourage you guys to do is a message such as this. Uh, we started it on Sunday night. I want you to really take time out and get the word of God in your hearts real good. Don't, don't be too in a hurry to try to listen to something new. I would advise you and encourage you, if that message from Sunday night got a hold of your spirit and started setting you free, I would advise you to listen to it over and over and over and over again. I mean, I w if I was you, this, this is what we do, me and my wife. Whenever God uses a message to speak to us, we are not quick to 
brush that message aside, <coughs> excuse me, and to go start listening to something else. It, it just didn't make sense. Why, why would I move on from a message that God, the Holy Spirit, is trying to get into my, into my inner man for me to walk something out that have plagued my life for years and years. It plagued my mom and dad, plagued my grandparents. God's trying to get a message over to you. He is trying to deliver you and set you free. He is answering your prayer. But God wants you to get the word of God down in your spirit. And some, some words that God sent our way, it took us years to walk it out. Because we were not quick to toss that particular message to the side and go look at what why am i going to look for something new if i hadn't even experienced the last message yet it, that just doesn't make sense to me so me and my wife have listened to certain messages probably hundreds of times why because that was a message that god used to bring about a deliverance in our life so i'm i'm wanting to encourage you even with the part two of this message in your private time take time out listen to it go over the scriptures meditate on it get the word of god down in your heart real good so let's let's begin again tonight i want to take you back to the book of galatians chapter 3 i may not go as i may not go back over all the stuff from sunday you just need to go and listen to that message take time out and listen to it but I want to go right into the book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, 14, and 29. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. Listen to the word of God. The apostle Paul, he's talking to the Galatians here. He's talking to, this is a Gentile church that the apostle Paul is talking to. And he is talking to a Gentile church yet again on tonight. You and I, who are not physical, the physical seed of Abraham, but we are the spiritual seed of Abraham. This word applies to us, but I want you to listen to the word of God tonight. The apostle Paul said, Christ, Christ Jesus has redeemed us. My God, my God. If you see my message from Sunday night, look for it and give it to me. The Apostle Paul said, Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law. He have redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. Because it is written, it is written, it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. I want you to listen real good to me on tonight. The Apostle Paul said, he was talking about what Christ accomplished on the cross of Calvary. The Apostle Paul said, when Christ was nailed to the cross, he said something powerful. Christ hath redeemed redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now you notice the apostle Paul, his words right here, his words are in the past tense. Hath redeemed us or has redeemed us. Notice you got to pay attention to the past tense of the word of God. Now when the apostle Paul, when the Holy Ghost through the apostle Paul uses the, the past tenses in a regular language, he is telling you that this is something that have already taken place. So the apostle Paul says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. He was made a curse for you. He was made a curse for me. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. Now you got to understand, what in the world is the curse of the law? What is the curse of the law? The curse of the law my God, if I read some of this tonight, it'll make you depressed if you listen to it. <laughs> I said it's enough to make you depressed. If you, if you just read through it, you'll be shouting happy that you gave your life to Jesus. Now listen to this real good. I want you to listen to this real good. 
So he said Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. What, what is the curse of the law? Let me, read, let me just give you some, some, some points on the curse of the law. Poverty is a part of the curse of the law. Always struggling financially. I want you to hear me good. Is a part of the curse of the law. It seems like you're working real hard. And you can't save a nickel. All of that is a, is a part of the curse of the law. Seems like there are holes in your pocket. You never have enough. You are always struggling. You're paying your tithes. You're giving into the kingdom. But for some reason or another, you are always behind. Some of you are working three jobs. And you are still behind. Something's wrong here. Are you guys listening to me tonight? You, you, you are always struggling. You never have enough. You just never, never, never have enough. You are working. Your husband are work, is working. Your kids are working. And you are still struggling. Are you still here? Everything you put your hands on, it fails. You are, you are investing money, but you're always losing. Are you still here? Everyone else is prospering. Except you. Some of you, some of you, no matter who you married to, the marriage starts good and then it gets sour and it ends in divorce. Do you know divorce is a part of the curse? A part of the curse in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 to the end of the chapter says, you will marry a woman and another man will have a, well, the devil is a liar. That's enough to get me set free from the curse of the law right there. You ain't going to have my wife and my kids. <laughs> you, uh, the devil is a liar. <laughs> can, can somebody, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. I, I dare somebody to say the devil is a liar. Come on, just say the devil is. Hey! <laughs> say the devil is a liar. Come on, type it in there. The devil is a liar. He is a shatter. Mandolo bokusha. He is a liar. Now watch this. Part of the curse of the law, your business will never make it. Your business always falls short. You, 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 went, you started a business, it started great, but something happened and you are wiped clean. All of these things are part of the curse of the law. Are you listening to me? Sickness and disease, it's a part of the curse of the law. Are you listening to me? Barren womb, a lot of these things are part of the curse of the law. Tumors in the body. It's just rashes on your skin that can never heal. All of these things are part of the curse of the law. My God, my God. I hope you folk are listening to me tonight. I said I hope you folk are listening to me tonight. Some of your kids are dying before their time. All of these things are part of the curse of the law. No matter where you go, it's like something is following you and you can't prosper. You are always behind. All of these things are part of the curse of the law. But I got good news. I said I got good news for somebody on tonight. The apostle Paul said, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone who hangs on a tree that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. He nailed your poverty to the cross. He nailed your lack to the cross. He nailed your failure to the cross. He nailed the curse of sickness, of poverty, of sin. He nailed it. I dare somebody to type it up. He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it to the cross. Christ has redeemed us. Christ has redeemed us. I'm here to preach the gospel. The word gospel means good news. That's why the Bible says 
in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 Jesus opened his mouth and he began to declare the Spirit of God is on me because he has sent me to preach the gospel to the poor I got good news for the poor the curse of poverty is broken you don't have to stay poor you don't have to stay under the curse of lack you don't have to stay in poverty because Jesus Christ have took the curse of poverty upon himself and nailed it to the cross that you and I can have life and have it more abundantly I dare somebody to shout more 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 now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us third john said beloved i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper somebody shout and help me give him praise tonight hallelujah hallelujah hey glory to god now watch this so when you get over to verse 14 when you get over to verse 14 he tells you exactly a part of Christ dying on the cross you got to understand the word salvation have a threefold meaning deliverance from sin sickness and poverty because it was the curse of the law so when when they nail Christ to the cross and he said it is finished <laughs> Oh, the devil ain't gonna like me tonight at all. When he said it is finished, the curse of the law, it was over. It was over. It was over. He took the prison called the curse of the law and he pulverized it. He shredded it. He demolished it. He ripped it down and ripped it to pieces that you and I can be set free. I dare somebody to shout. I'm running from out of this prison of poverty. I'm running out. I'm running from under the curse. I'm running to Jesus. I'm receiving it by faith. I'm claiming my place. I'm putting a stake in the ground. I'm claiming, I'm claiming the blessing of Abraham on tonight because the Bible says he became a curse that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles. He talking about you and he talking about me. Somebody help me praise him. Hey, somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. My marriage will last. I don't have to divorce. I don't have to give up on my marriage because I'm not under the curse. Another man will not have my wife. Another woman will not have my husband. I'm delivered from the curse of the law. I got an announcement to make to the devil tonight and all of his demons. The curse is broken. Somebody type it. Somebody shout it. The curse, the curse, the curse, the curse is broken. I'm about to go from lack to abundance because the curse is broken. Devil, you can't hold me back. You can't keep my finances tied up. I'm no longer going to be the tail. I'm about to be the head. I'm about to be above only and not beneath. Somebody shout, I'm blessed. Somebody shout, I'm blessed. I'm blessed with the blessing of Abraham. Somebody type it. Somebody shout it. Somebody run through your house and shout, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. The blessing of Abraham. It belongs to me. It belongs. 
I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm preaching good news. I'm preaching good news. Jesus said in John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But my God, you got to stand your ground and tell the devil the curse is broken. I'm drawing a line in the dirt. You can't cross the blood. You can't cross the threshold. I'm covered in the blood. No curse can operate here. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 2 the law of the spirit of life in Christ have made me free from the law of sin and death. I'm free. Somebody shout I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Somebody shout I'm free. I'm about to prosper. I'm about to prosper. I'm about to go from minus to plus. I'm about to go from rags to riches. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And no man can curse who God have blessed. Somebody shout blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Someone shout blessed. My God, my God. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessing the city. You're blessing the country. You're blessed coming in. You're blessed going out. Your marriage is blessed. Your health is blessed. Your finances is blessed. Your job, bless your business, your ministry, your investments, your relationships. Somebody shout, I'm blessed. <laughs> now watch this. So we talk about the Apostle Paul saying here, Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law he has this is past tense it's already done but someone may ask well how come I'm still struggling maybe you haven't been taught properly or maybe you just got to make up your mind when the truth of the gospel comes to you like this you have got to allow your faith to come alive in what God is saying. You cannot deliver yourself from the curse. Only Christ can do it. And this is where faith comes in. It's not of works, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, not of works lest any man boast. This is the gift of God. This is a gift to us. So he said, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Curses everyone that hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles. And the blessing of Abraham is when God pronounced a serious blessing over Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, 2, and 3. And I'm not going to read that, but I will read this. I will read this. Abraham's servant gave us a clue in Genesis chapter 24, verses 34 and 35, what happened and what the result of God pronouncing that blessing over Abraham was all about. And when I read this to you, it will help you and myself to have a much clearer picture of what the blessing of Abraham is is that Christ died on the cross for that you and I could be a partaker of it listen to what the servant said the servant said in Genesis 24 34 and 35 Abraham's servant these words open a window into the life of Abraham so you and I could see what that blessing was that God gave to Abraham and how it began to manifest listen to the word 
The servant said, I am Abraham's servant, he explained. And the Lord has greatly blessed my master. Not the devil. The Lord has greatly blessed my master. And he has become a wealthy man. That's pretty clear. Is that straightforward? Is that straightforward? Preaching to my kids in here too. That's pretty straightforward. The blessing that God gave Abraham caused Abraham to be a man of great abundance. The Lord has given him flocks of sheep and goats, herds of cattle, a fortune in silver and gold, and many male and female servants, and camels and donkeys. Now look, I got to inject this here. Why did God bless Abraham? He said, Abraham, I'm going to bless you so you can be a blessing. God is not going to bless you for you to just hoard it on your lust and hoard it to yourself and be stingy and be greedy. The number one reason for wealth in the kingdom of God is to support. It's for you to take care of you and your family and take care of your responsibilities, but it's to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus to send preachers and missionaries around the world. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, he says, it's the Lord your God that gave you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant. What is his covenant in the New Testament? Go into all the world and preach the gospel. It's not just so you can live lavishly and live on a flowery bed of ease. No, it's so you can win the loss. So you can fulfill the word of God so Jesus can hurry up return. Hello, somebody. Now, I want you to see something about this blessing of Abraham. I want you to see this, how it was manifested in the life of Jacob Abraham's grandson. Listen to this. The Bible says, the Bible, well, let me, let me read the end of verse 29 in Galatians 3 first. I, I've got to read this one. I just can't pass over that. Verse 14 says that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles. But then verse 29 in Galatians chapter 3 says, and if you be Christ or if you belong to Christ, if you belong to Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. That means through Jesus Christ, you and I have a rightful claim to the same blessing of Abraham. Now, I want you to see this. I want to take you into the book of Genesis chapter 28. We got a lot of grounds to cover. Watch this. Genesis chapter 28. I want you to see when Isaac, Abraham's son, who Abraham gave him the Abrahamic blessing. I want you to see what happened when Isaac was about to die. I want you to see what he did for Jacob. Genesis chapter 28 verses 1, 2, 3, and 4. The Bible says, and Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said unto him. And said unto him. Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Padanaram, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, and take thee a wife from there of the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. And watch this now. I want you to listen to verse, verse 3 and 4. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people. Now watch this. Listen to verse 4. And give thee, this is Isaac, passing on, rightfully so. This is Isaac passing on the Abrahamic blessing to his son Jacob. He says, and may God give you, Jacob, the blessing of Abraham to you, and to your seed with thee, that you may inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which God gave to Abraham. So Isaac here in Genesis 28 is pronouncing 
the Abrahamic blessing over Jacob's life. And Jacob now, because remember, remember how Jacob tricked Esau and claimed the blessing. Well, Jacob, God always intended for Jacob to have the blessing. Because now, a lot of people don't preach this part here. Because right here, Jacob is not tricking Isaac this time. Isaac recognizes the Abrahamic blessing belongs to Jacob. He's not tricking him this time. Isaac is in his right mind. He he's sent for Jacob to bless Jacob with the Abrahamic blessing. That same blessing that Christ, through his death on the cross, released on us, the Gentiles, who would accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their lives. Now, I, I've got to take my time here because I'm, I'm, I'm teaching the word now. That we, we're about to go a little deeper. Hang with me. Let's pray for a second. We're about to go a little deeper. Say, Lord Jesus, help me to grasp what is being said tonight. Give me, un give me understanding. Give me revelation knowledge tonight. Kumbra kasata. Give me revelation from the word of God tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now watch, I want to take you a little deeper so we see Jacob is about to leave and move to Syria because Laban's a Syrian. He's about to go to Syria obeying Isaac and Rebekah because remember Esau wants to kill Jacob. But now Isaac is giving Jacob the blessing because he realizes this is the chosen one. This is the one that the Messiah is going to come through. So Jacob gives Isaac this blessing and Isaac, excuse me, Isaac have to hurry flee away from Esau because Esau wants to kill him. But now I got to point something out here. So when Isaac left, it was in such a hurry, he couldn't carry a bunch of silver and gold. All he pretty much was able to carry was clothes on his back and some oil and some stuff to eat and he fled on the donkey or whatever or maybe a camel whatever he used he fled to go to Syria from the presence of Esau because Esau wanted to kill him I'm laying some foundation so now Jacob goes to his uncle's Laban's house when Jacob goes to Laban this is what I want to point out to you guys when Jacob goes to Laban Jacob goes to Laban, a broke man, <laughs> because he had to flee from the presence of Esau. He goes to Laban, broke, pretty much with only the clothes on his back, but he went to Laban with, a, with the blessing of Abraham freshly released on Jacob's life. The blessing of Abraham through Isaac had been declared, pronounced, and released on the life of Jacob. Jacob, I want you to hear me good. I'm going somewhere with this. When Jacob went to Laban, Jacob was flat broke. All he had was pretty much the clothes on his back, his camel with some food, and the blessing of Abraham just freshly imparted into his spirit. Now I'm a I'm a fast forward what happened after Jacob after Jacob began to work for his uncle Laban. We know Laban was a he was a thief. He was a trickster. He changed Jacob's wages ten times. Man, I'd have been fuming. <laughs> You want a man get mad, you mess with his money. <laughs> so, so Jacob, but I want you to see what happened here. Jacob went broke, but he had this blessing on his life. God was with Jacob. And years later, listen to what Laban said to Jacob, who had come to him broke. Listen to this. I'm a fast forward now. Because I want you to see the blessing of Abraham 
at work in the life of Jacob so you could have a picture of what this same exact blessing of Abraham is about to accomplish in your life when you receive this part of the gospel by faith. The part of the gospel you receive is the only part of the gospel that will work for you. If you don't believe in healing, you cannot expect to get healed. If you don't believe in miracles, do expect God to work a miracle for you. But if you believe in it, are you hearing me? If you believe this part of the gospel, then you have a right to see it manifest in your life. So let's fast forward into Genesis chapter 30, verses 27 through 30, and see what happens when this blessing of Abraham begin to be made manifest in, in Jacob's life who came to Laban broke. Now watch this. Please listen to me in Genesis 30 verse 27. Laban replied. Laban said to Jacob. I want you to hear this good. I have become wealthy for the Lord has blessed me because of you. <laughs> Give me some soft music. I'm sorry man. I feel this thing. Laban, Laban said to Jacob, I have become a wealthy man for the Lord has blessed me, my children. He blessed my whole business, Jacob, because you came. You brought the Abrahamic, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. You brought the Abrahamic blessing to my business, to my struggling family. I became a wealthy man because you are here, Jacob. Listen here, friends. Some of those companies that you work with here in America, the Bahamas and around the world, those companies are only thriving because you are at that company and the blessing of Abraham is on your life. Your wicked boss man can tell, he can recognize that his company is blessed because of you. That's why they may treat you like a dog. They may talk down to you. They may treat you like garbage, but they refuse to fire you because they know if they let you go, the blessing goes with you. I said if they let you go, the blessing goes with you. Are you listening to me? That's why they not going to fire you because they recognize that there is some blessing on this woman there is some blessing on this man they may envy you they may be jealous of you they may fight you they refuse to promote you but they don't want to fire you because they recognize that the blessing of God is only on that job as long as you stay there I dare you to open your mouth and shout I'm blessed I'm blessed now I understand why they refuse to fire me people lied on me and they still refuse to let me go they refuse to let you go because you are walking in the blessing of Abraham that company is blessed that company have grown that company have increased since you came to it somebody shout I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm blessed my God somebody shout my God, I'm getting ahead of myself. Watch this. I got to read this to you. I want you to see this now. So Laban is telling Jacob, Laban's a wicked man. He's a thief. He's no good. He's a crook. He's a shyster, a sham, a scam. We can go down that list, can't we? But watch this. And Laban is willing to admit, I've only become wealthy since you came here. Now watch this. Laban said, tell me how much I owe you. Whatever it is, I'll pay you. But ain't this a liar? Ain't he a liar? He is a lying wonder. He's begging Jacob to stay because, and he's lying. He's not going to give Jacob the raise. He's like, that's why they keep promising you a raise. So you can stay there because they don't want you to leave. 
they recognize you are blessed and they recognize everything you put your hands on God is blessing it it's increasing it's multiplying that's why they take your ideas and go and put it into action and don't give you the credit for it oh my god I'm preaching to somebody tonight now watch this so, so Laban says tell me how much I owe you whatever it is I'll pay Jacob replied you know how hard I've worked for you and how your flocks and herds have grown under my care you had little indeed before I came but your wealth has increased enormously isn't this amazing is, is, is this good stuff is this good <laughs> your wealth have increased enormously the Lord has blessed you through everything I've done <laughs> but now what about me when can I start providing for my own family in other words Jacob said look I'm ready to, I'm ready to leave you I didn't I don't prove this thing this now that I know <laughs> now that I know this thing works I don't need you no more I'm ready to go start my own thing now watch this as a result watch this so Jacob said you 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 had little indeed before I came but your wealth has increased enormously the Lord has blessed you through everything I've done but now what about me when can I start providing for my family Jacob is antsy man he's itching because he realized that the blessings working I dare somebody to say the blessing is working the blessing is at work the blessing is at work I'm about to go from lack to abundance the blessing is at work now watch this I want to jump down to verse 43 verse 43 says as a result it's the blessing at work as a result Jacob became a very wealthy man with large flocks of sheep and goats and female and male servants and many camels and donkeys the exact blessing that manifested in Abraham that manifested in Isaac now it's manifesting in Jacob now Jacob who went to labor the broke man now Jacob is wealthy now Jacob has increased now Jacob have more than enough he is proven God to be his El Shaddai the God who is more than enough are you hearing me I want to take you over into Genesis chapter 31 verses 1 through 16 I got to read this to you I've got to read this to you because I want you to listen to the word of God but Jacob soon learned but Jacob, Jacob soon learned that Laban's sons were grumbling about him. Jacob has robbed our father of everything. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. This gets me a little. This is really, it's hilarious. Jacob has robbed our father of everything. You didn't have nothing for Jacob to rob. <laughs> what did you have? A few sickly sheep? Jacob has robbed our father of everything they said he has gained all this wealth at our father's expense <laughs> Lord have mercy don't worry Jacob I got these boys for you tonight I'm gonna handle up on them in a minute look <laughs> Jacob has robbed our father of everything they said he has gained all this wealth at our father's expense the devil is a liar this was the blessing of Abraham at work in Jacob's life let's keep reading and Jacob began to notice a change in Laban's attitude towards him. Now Laban's silly to listen to his sons. He, they all knew they had nothing until Jacob came and showed up with the Abrahamic blessing on his life. Then the Lord said to Jacob, return to the land of your father and grandfather and to your relatives and I'll be with you. So Jacob called Rachel and Leah out to the field where he was watching his flock. He said to them, I have noticed that your father's attitude towards me has changed, but the God of my father has been with me. You know how hard I have worked for your father, but he has cheated me changing my wages 10 times. But God has not allowed him to do me any harm. For if he said the speckle animals, will be your wages the whole flock began to produce speckle and when he changed his mind and said 
the stripe animals gonna be your wages then the whole flock produced stripe in this way God has taken your father's animals and gave them to me because of the blessing of Abraham Jacob got a wealth transfer right under Laban's nose his animals the animals that Laban gave to Jacob out produce and out multiplied Laban's and look way better than Laban's because it was the blessing of Abraham that was on Jacob's life it wasn't by happenstance he went from lack to abundance he went from zero to surplus listen to this Jacob said in verse 10 one time during the mating season I had a dream and saw that the male goats mating with the females was streaked, speckled, and spotted. Then in my dream, the angel of God said to me, Jacob. And I replied, yes, here I am. The angel said, look up. And you will see that only the streaked, speckled, and spotted males are mating with the females of your flock. For I have seen all that Laban has done to you. I've seen how he treated you. I am the God who appeared to you at Bethel. The place where you anointed the pillar of stone and made your vow to me. Now get ready and leave this country and return to the land of your birth. Rachel and Leah responded, that's fine with us. We won't inherit any of our father's wealth anyway. All the wealth God has given you from our father legally belongs to us and our children. So go ahead and do whatever God has told you. God took Jacob. A man who was broke a man who was struggling and took him from lack to abundance because of the blessing of Abraham and the Bible says and in Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14 Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree that the blessing of Abraham the same blessing that blessed Jacob and increased him that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ lift your hands to heaven right now and say Lord Jesus Lord Jesus I receive the blessing of Abraham I want you to lift your hands to heaven right now say father I receive the blessing of Abraham I receive it right now I will increase I will prosper I will have more than enough because because Christ have redeemed us and set me free from the curse of poverty I'm free I received the blessing of Abraham on tonight I'm free indeed my God in Christ I'm free indeed no chains are holding me it's who I choose to be sing it with me tonight I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose to be I'm free indeed, come on I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed No chains are holding me It's who I choose to be Come on, sing it tonight I'm free indeed In Christ I'm free indeed no chains are holding me I choose to be I choose to be free I choose I choose to be free I choose I choose to be free I choose to be free tonight I choose to be free tonight Listen here saints you and I Christ have set you and myself he have set us free 
from the curse of the law, from poverty, from sin, and from sickness. You don't have to stay broke. You don't have to stay poor. Ask God to show you. Ask Him to give you wisdom. Ask Him to give you a creative idea. Ask Him to show you where to invest your money. For some of you who, who don't have money, ask God to show you how to get it. Ask Him to open a door to give you an opportunity. Ask Him. The blessing of Abraham belongs to you. It belongs to you. Jesus shed his blood. Jesus was nailed to the cross that the blessing of Abraham may come on your life. Jesus said, I am come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. He meant exactly what he said. You and I are free from the curse of poverty. I want you to make this confession right now. I am free from the curse of poverty. I want you type it. I want you confess it. I am free from the curse of poverty. I am free from the curse of poverty. Declare it. Declare it. Open your mouth and declare it. Open your mouth and declare it. I am free from the curse of poverty. Listen, that blessing is on your life. You are about to prosper. You are about to increase. God is about to multiply you. Listen, but you got to be faithful. Are you listening to me? You got to be willing to work hard. Don't just sit around and twiddle your thumb and think it's gonna drop in your lap. Jacob, was a hard worker the bible says in proverbs hard work leads to prosperity proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 will take on new meaning to you tonight the bible says the blessings of the lord make it one rich and it adds no sorrow it adds no sorrow you are blessed tonight you are blessed with the blessing of abraham I declare it over your life tonight. You are blessed. Christ has blessed you with the blessing of Abraham. I declare it over your life. I pray that the Holy Ghost would manifest it. I pray that he would manifest it. Make you the head and not the tail. Above only and not beneath. The lender and not the borrower. The lender, the lender, the lender and not the borrower the head and not the tail the head and not the tail blessed and not curse blessed 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 and not curse blessed blessed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and the most important part I surrender and the most important part he died that you can be delivered from sin for God so loved the world for God so loved the world that he be, that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life Jesus loves you tonight if you're not a born-again Christian tonight is your night he loves you, he loves you, he loves you. He died just for you. I want you to pray this prayer after me right now. Lord Jesus, wash me in your blood. I am a sinner. Forgive me of all of my sins. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God. You died on Calvary Cross for me. You died on Calvary Cross for me. They buried you in a borrowed tomb. And on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at the right hand of God. And soon and very soon, you are coming again. From this day, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, 
and the devil to serve the true and living God. Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me and my words down here on this earth, I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my Father and the holy angels. If you have just surrendered your life to Jesus, if you were backsliding and you came back, if you're surrendering your life to Jesus for the first time, I want you to type in this live chat, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. I want you to do it right now. Make a bold proclamation and confession before the whole world. I surrender all. Come on and sing it with me on tonight. Oh, I surrender all. Come on, sing it tonight. Oh, I surrender all, all to thee, all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. Come on and sing it to him tonight. Oh, I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all. All to thee. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I Come on, if you just surrender your life to Jesus, don't be ashamed. Type it in the live chat right now. I see those surrenders on tonight. Karen, I see that surrender. Maggie, I see that surrender. Levi, I see that surrender. Oh, Quita, God bless you. Tashai, I see that. God bless you. I surrender god bless you lester i surrender all god bless you ginger oh i rally god bless you i surrender all tonight cassandra god bless you linda god bless you tonight tony god god bless you tonight god bless you god bless you come on saints type in the live chat and welcome these new people into the family of God. Welcome them into the kingdom of God on tonight. Come on and welcome them. God bless you, Alma. God bless you. Chriselle, God bless you. God bless you. People are coming into the kingdom on tonight. Shavona, God bless you. The Lord. All to thee. All to thee, my blessed. It Savior, I surrender all. Put that on there for me, Samuel. No, 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 no. yeah. Pastor Sean Pinner is coming to Farmington, New Mexico. He invites you for a night of healing and miracles. You will be impacted by the uncompromised gospel, elevated with anointed worship, refreshed by the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, and experience the miraculous healing power of God. Join Pastor Sean for this night of healing and miracles at the Farmington Civic Center, Friday, November 1, 2019 at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. For more information, call 972-201-4164. Come expecting to receive your miracle. Your life will never be the same. See you there. Praise God, praise God. So we welcome all of you to join us. We welcome all of you. We welcome all of you to join us in Farmington, New Mexico, November 1st. That's a Friday night, 7 p.m. for a night of healing and miracles we look forward to being there we believe god is going to do mighty things in farmington new mexico the holy spirit spoke to me i believe it might have been a month and a half ago a 
month and a half ago, God spoke very clear to me and said, go to New Mexico. So I'm obeying the Holy Ghost. And God is up to something. I'm telling you, when the Holy Ghost speaks like that, you just got to obey. You just got to obey Him. You have to just obey His voice. But God's up to something. So Farmington, New Mexico, get ready for a move of God. Get ready for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We believe in lifting the name of Jesus high. We believe souls will be saved and sick bodies will be healed by the power of the living God. So I want all of you be praying for us. Be praying for that upcoming meeting. God is going to move in a mighty way. I give myself away. We love all of you. That's coming from me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. God bless all of you. We will see you again on Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless all of you. We love you guys. You know we love you. We appreciate you all so much. I give myself away. I give myself away. I give myself. I give myself away.